I was doing some neuroscience research at the U of A, and then I was very interested in it. I loved EEG, thought like imagine movement research. I thought it was awesome. Um, and then I came back to McEwen. Well, I was still at McEwen, but I needed to do my capstone. Throughout the summer, uh, I really wanted to do some robotics work as well. Jeff Davis is who is our overseeing prof for this project. He ordered EEG cap just by happenstance. I asked him if I could do a project with them, and he said, absolutely. He said, how about you try and build a drone if you want to do some ro robotics? And I was like, I would love, like, I just had an idea. I was like, I want to make something fly with my mind. So the cap is an EEG, which just means it grabs the electrical impulses from the surface of your scalp, which is an in invasive way to test for thought patterns. Um, so it grabs, so everybody in their brain has electrical movement when you think of something. So the EEG maps that to a certain part of your brain and we use the part, we determine the part that, that is located for, like, for movement. So we determine when you think about up or whatever it is. So for Steven, he thinks about an up push up. So during that time, it records all of the electrical activity in your brain and then, then we send that to the computer and we use a machine learning algorithm to tell it, this is what Steven thinks of up. It then classifies that and does a fit on a model, which just means that it makes a guess to see, okay, if this is what he thinks of up, every single time that I get a electrical impulse of the same variety, I'm gonna say, okay, this is up to him. And so we use a random forest machine learning algorithm if at all possible to do something with this project to further what we did, we're absolutely going to try it. So we're, we're going to keep going at it, I think, for a little bit and just see where it goes.